Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I am sharing what I'll be putting inside my kids' Christmas stockings. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate this you. This is, I think, what, the fourth or fifth video in my gift guide series that I have been putting up all this week. I've been posting one video about holiday gift giving every day this week. I if will missed, link any of those other videos that you may have missed down below if you're interested in going back and seeing some of the Christmas gift videos or gift idea videos that I posted earlier in the week. So let's kind of get into it because you guys, <sighs> stockings are hard for me because I buy too much every year and I don't know why I feel like, oh, it's just a little tiny, you know, thing to put in their stocking and I buy like 500 things. I don't know why I do that, but I did it again. <laughs> I did the same thing last year and I mean, it's not like super crazy, but it is I'm not going to be able to fit everything. I, there's no way I'm fitting everything in their stockings this year. My kids have two different stockings that they go back and forth between. One of them is a really large, like, giant stocking, um, which is why I think I always buy so much. But this year, my kids even told me they wanted to use their smaller stocking, and I'm like, I didn't slow down. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't stop and think about everything that I had purchased because one of the great things about, you know, holiday shopping is that you don't have to wait until like November, December to start shopping. You can shop all year, which is what I typically do, but that can also be part of the problem <laughs> because sometimes you forget what you purchase. Um, and that's kind of what happened with me here. So this is not going to fit inside their stockings. But So another thing that I wanted to mention before we get into the stockings is that I don't really go so much off of like how many items go in a stocking. It's more off of like a budget. Because my kids are 11 and 14, my 11 year old still really likes like having a few toys and and things like that to where my oldest daughter she prefers more beauty items and beauty items can get expensive so instead of working off of you know each kid gets five items in their stocking i work more off of a budget so it is going to look like lydia received quite a bit more than bella but that's only because bella's items cost more if that makes sense but let's jump into lydia's stocking she is a little spitfire. <laughs> I love her so much and she's very much into reptiles but also beauty and like beauty products and things um, but she absolutely loves reptiles, amphibians, dinosaurs, hot wheels, all those types of things as well. So you're gonna see a little bit of all of that in her stocking. So let's jump into the candy first. Okay this is one of those things that it's like why did I buy two? So I purchase these every single year to put in my kids' stockings. Um, this is the Reese's Pieces version of the candy cane. Um, but then tell me why, guys, I went and bought one of these too. It's the same candy. Like, I could have just got a different candy, but they do absolutely love these. These are, like, their favorite right now candies. So I know that they'll still eat them and enjoy them. I also picked her up a six-pack of these little fun size Snickers. Now, other than that... Oh, where did I put them? Hang on guys, I'll be right back. Okay. One more candy, <laughs> I got it. So I do buy these every single year as well. These are the Terry's Chocolate Orange Balls. So these are so good. My kids absolutely love these. So I do put these in their stockings every year. I even put one in mine. I buy one for myself every year to put in my stocking. But these are so good, absolutely love them. They also have like different like varieties or flavors too. Like they have a dark chocolate. They had one with like almost like a pop rock in it as well. I, I did try that one last year and it was pretty good. But yeah, so this year I just got the original ones. They absolutely love these. Now, another thing that I always put in Christmas stockings, socks. Every single year, I don't care how old you are, <laughs> you get socks. So I got her these really cute fox socks. She was just saying that she just wanted a, um, a few pairs of short socks because she's, you know, she doesn't have that many left. She's rough on her clothes. <laughs> Okay, let me just put that out there. Lydia is pretty rough on her clothes because she plays outside a lot. She loves to be out in nature, but she, she needed a few more pairs of socks, so I got her these cute little ones. Okay, so I also give new toothbrushes every single year, but for some reason I was having a really hard time finding like a kid's 
single pack toothbrush. Um, so she ended up getting a three pack. <laughs> So she's going to be getting this three pack of kids toothbrushes in her stocking as well. And then for her little beauty products, she does love really wearing like a little like clay or mud mask when she takes a bath sometimes. So I picked her up these hot cocoa and cookie face masks. She is going to love these. Um, I think they're super cute. And I love that it's a two pack. So okay. So she does like to do her nails every now and again, and she absolutely loves fruit. So I was at the Dollar Tree and I found these strawberry press on nails. I thought that these were so adorable. She's gonna love these so much. Again, she absolutely loves like fruit patterns. I picked her up a set of butterfly nail stickers as well. And this, <laughs> These I just thought were cute, so I picked up a pack of llama band-aids. Now, these band-aids are super, super cute. She absolutely loves llamas, and the band-aid is actually the shape of the animal. I just thought that that was so adorable, so I picked these up for her stocking. And then one of the things that she's been asking for is like a little sugar scrub and she really likes watermelon. She's used this one before and she's absolutely loved it, but I picked her up this watermelon sugar scrub. This smells amazing. It smells extremely sweet, just like watermelons, and she's gonna love this. So the last little beauty product that I picked up for Lydia before I, you know, went crazy with toys, I picked her up this two pack of nail files. I just thought that these were super cute. You know, one's this really cute pink glittery nail file, and then this other one is just like some really cute smiley faces. So I think she'll love that. But let's move on to where I went crazy with little toys. Okay, now this, guys, this is where, <laughs> this is where I went wrong. Okay, this is where I went wrong. Um this is where I overdid. Like I could have stopped with everything that I've showed you so far and I still have a ton of stuff. So I picked her up this scented mystery squad, what is it, a Squishmallow? So this is one of those smaller ones but they have like a scent to them. So I picked her up one of these. I picked her up two of these real little like mystery boxes. Again, like why did I need two? Like she, it could have been one. I also picked up, she absolutely loves like those little like mystery, like grab bags or mystery boxes. And she really loves like the cats vs. pickles and all of that. So I picked her up a cats vs. pickles. This is a bears vs. donuts. A kittens vs. gherkins. A dog vs. squirrels and a cows vs. aliens. I know. I know. Okay, next up, she does still play with Barbies every now and again, um, and these I just thought were so adorable. She absolutely, like I was saying, she absolutely loves dinosaurs, and she loves Jurassic Park. I found Jurassic World Barbie clothes at the Dollar Tree. I was super excited. I picked up one of every single one I could find. So I picked her up four new Jurassic World outfits for her dolls. Again, she's gonna love these, absolutely love these. Okay, and then I did pick her up a new set of playing cards. This is something I usually add in every year. I got her a Harry Potter, or what is that? A Hogwarts version. So yeah, Harry Potter um, card set. She's gonna really like this. And I like these because it has like a metal tin. I think it might help keep their cards in better condition <laughs> because it's a metal tin. Um, I do have a pack of these for myself, but she liked them and I was like, I'll give, I'll give her a pack in her stocking. So I picked her up that. And then she also got this Destral. This is from Harry Potter as well. It's one of the little creatures. I think she'll absolutely love that. Almost done with her guys. I know it's a lot. I, I said it was like ridiculous. Now I also picked her up a couple of Hot Wheels. She absolutely loves Hot Wheels and she absolutely loves Super Mario or Mario, Nintendo, anything like that. So I picked her up a little Donkey Kong. Is that his name? Yeah, Donkey Kong Hot Wheel. And then she also got this Bullet Bill Hot Wheel as well. Okay, 
I this I actually had left over from Easter so I'm just throwing it in her stocking this is a five pack of like little squishies so it's a little surprise pack again she absolutely loves the little mystery surprise pack things so she'll get this as well and then I know two more items and she's done this is something that I know she's going to absolutely love and I'm so glad that I got this because I know I'm not going to regret it either but I picked her up this rechargeable like usb rechargeable book light now my kids did need a new book light so i did pick this one up for lydia this is like a light blue or almost like teal um but this one it clips onto the book it is rechargeable so you don't have to worry about those little coin batteries that you always forget about and it also has like three different settings so for the light so i think that she's absolutely gonna love this again it has to do with reading, so I think it's a great idea. Um, and it does come with a little cord to charge your book light. Now, the last thing that I picked up for Lydia for her stocking. Oh, look at it. It's an oxalotl beanie, beanie. I almost said binky. My kids do not have binkies. <laughs> it is an oxalotl beanie. I thought that this was adorable. She does absolutely love wearing like animal hats like this and this is going to be so cute on her and she again she absolutely loves anything you know um, amphibian, reptile, dinosaur, anything like that. So this little oxalotl beanie is going to be a huge hit for her. But now let me kind of clean up and I will show you everything that I got for my 14 year old stocking. Okay, so now let's jump into what I'll be putting in my 14 year old's stocking. So for Bella, she's very much into beauty items, like I was saying earlier. So that's what you're gonna see a lot of here. But I don't feel like I went as crazy with her as I did with Lydia. <laughs> so there's that. Now let's talk about the things that I always put in stockings and that is candy. So she pretty much got the same candy. Um, I did pick up the Reese's pieces candy cane and then I picked up another Reese's pieces again I should have mixed this up but I didn't and then for her instead of Snickers I picked her up at three musketeers Bella currently has braces right now so she can't really have Snickers but these work really well with her braces now something I always put inside of their stocking again toothbrush so she just got this like lavender colored toothbrush and a two pack of Naruto socks. She absolutely loves anime. She's currently working her way through the Naruto series and I think that she'll really, really enjoy these. So it's just Naruto on one side and then I don't know what this means, but she does and I know that she'll like these. So I picked up this two pack of socks. Now, some more items that I picked up that are a little bit different than what I put in Lydia's stocking is I actually picked up Bella this really cute iron on patch. Again, it's that same cloud from Naruto. She was saying that she wanted some iron on patches or buttons maybe to put on her jeans. And I just thought that this would be really cute because I know she really enjoys this show. And then I do usually put in some kind of notebook or journal or something like that in my girl's stocking, but Lydia really didn't need that this year. So I did only pick one up for Bella, but I picked this one up for her and I thought it was absolutely adorable. So this is again from Naruto and this is just a lined notebook, but I thought that it was so cute because it actually matches the diamond art that I put inside of her December box. I know it's, <laughs> it's not, I think it's cute. I just thought it was cute, but yeah. So she got this little journal for, for her stocking. Now for her set of, I keep on saying fur, for her set of playing cards, I picked her up these Demon Slayer playing cards. And again, they're in the metal tin. I will take them out of this like packaging before I put them in her stocking, but I thought that these were so cute. And again, she absolutely loves this show. Now let's get into some of the beauty items I picked up for Bella because that is primarily what is in her stocking this year. So I did pick her up some of the sugar scrub, but she got the candy cane. I don't know if I'm, I didn't even smell it. I'm going to smell it really fast. Yeah, that's candy cane. It almost smells, um, because it's like a sugar scrub, obviously. Um, it kind of smells like a peppermint sugar cookie, kind of like the soap I made, but yeah, she got this one here. And then she did also get the two pack of 
um, face mask. This is the hot cocoa and the cookie one. It's the same one that I picked up for Lydia, but I think that she'll really enjoy this as well. And then she also got these really cute hand masks. I thought it was cute. They look like little elves. And then she also got the foot mask as well. Again, I just thought the pattern was super cute. Packaging, man. Packaging got me on this one. Okay, next up, I did pick her up a pack of Band-Aids as well. She got the pineapple Band-Aids. I thought that these were absolutely adorable, super cute. And again, I love that they are the shape of the actual image. I don't know why that matters. I think it's adorable and I would use these. Um, for her nail files, these are so cute. Bella absolutely loves Alice in Wonderland. She read all the books. She loves the, cart the Disney cartoon of Alice in Wonderland. She's not a huge fan of the live action, but look what I found. So cute. They are Alice in Wonderland nail files. I thought that these were so adorable and she does her nails all the time. She absolutely loves um, having her nails done or doing them herself. I thought these were so cute. She's going to love those. Okay, so speaking of nails, I picked her up a bottle of nail glue. This is something she is always in need of is some nail glue. And then I did pick her up a set of these like red um, or maroon, I guess you can say, nails. Um, she does usually uh, trim them back just a little bit and kind of reshape them, but I thought she'd really like this color. Um, and they have like the little accent nails as well that have glitter on them. So those are super cute. She also got a set of rings. She was really saying that she wanted to wear rings on her fingers. Um, Bella has, I know this is going to sound weird, but Bella has really beautiful hands. Like she has really long feminine hands, beautiful nails all the time. And these are just going to look so fantastic on her. I can already tell you, but these, they're super cute. I'm trying to get like a better shot, but you can see it's like moon and stars and one kind of like looks like a little mood ring, but these are super, super cute. And again, she was voicing that she really wanted some rings. So she got a pack of rings. I did pick these up at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. These are eyebrow razors. Now, I've never used the ones from the Dollar Tree before, so I hope that they work well. I usually buy them, you know, just online. Um, but yeah, I got her her own set of eyebrow razors. So much more convenient than just, you know, plucking your hair. You could do it so much faster. But just in case she's a little nervous about using those on her own, I did pick up a set of tweezers for her as well. And this way she doesn't take mine. Okay, now another beauty product I picked up for her. These Bior, is it Bior? I can't say the word. Biore, 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 Biore whatever that is, um, T-Zone Targeted Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. So these are the strips that you have like for the forehead, the nose, and the chin. I just thought that she'd really like these. So I picked her up a pack of these. And what else do we have? Oh, so the other day she was telling me that she really, really wanted like wacky lip colors. I don't know what that means. Okay, what does wacky lip colors mean? Because when people wear like different colored like lip colors and they pull it off and it looks really nice, I don't look at that as wacky. So <laughs> I wasn't sure what she meant, but the only kind of makeup Bella wears are or will wear is like stuff on her lips. Like she'll wear like a lip gloss or or something like that. She doesn't even wear a lot of very pigmented lipsticks or anything. It's more like gloss. Um, so she doesn't really wear any makeup. I know she's 14, but we're just not there yet. So I don't know what wacky lip colors mean. So I picked her up this blue lip gloss, an orange lip gloss, and a black lip gloss again i that's that's the best i can do <laughs> that's all i could come up with when she said wacky because i'm sure i'm sure that there are people out there out there that wear these all the time that just look really great in them but you know they're just not typical colors that you see on the lips so is that what she's talking about <laughs> cross your fingers i hope that's what she's talking about okay next up this stuff she absolutely loves. This is the Lavender Mint Curl Refresher from Paul Mitchell. Now, Bella has really curly hair. I absolutely love her hair, jealous of her hair, just naturally beautiful and curly. And it's just, 
yeah, this stuff works so great in her hair. She absolutely loves it. And she was running really low. So I thought I would throw it in her stocking. Now, this is not cheap stuff. So this is definitely something that she doesn't always have um, because it is a little bit more on the expensive side. But I do try and get it for her any chance that I get for either like Easter or Christmas or her birthday or something like that, just so that she always has it on hand. But again, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, at least for me. I, th I think it's pricey. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Now, she has also been um, coloring the front of her hair, like just right here in the front and then underneath, she'll, she'll color like back here in her hair. So I'll just put a picture so you can see it because I just explained that really weird. But she's been wanting to change up the color of her hair. She did have it like this really beautiful teal color. She also had it um, in like this like hot pink, almost red color. But she was voicing that she would also like to do some kind of electric blue. So I picked her up this Lime Crime Unicorn Hair Dye. This is in Mystic. And it kind of reminds me of like Casa Azul, you know, like Frida's home, that blue. Um, I thought that this was absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping this was the color that she was talking about, but I think this will be beautiful on her. I, I think that this blue is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can't even think of another word for it, but I love it. Now, the last thing that I picked up for Bella's stocking, finally, I know is she also got a book light. So both of my girls do enjoy reading in bed and I do not want them to like strain their eyes, you know? And both of them do, do wear readers, like reading glasses. So again, I got her the same light that I picked up for Lydia, only hers is in a like lavendery purple. Bella absolutely loves lavender scent and lavender color. So that's why I picked up this one for her. And again, it is rechargeable. It has the clip on the bottom. I honestly, I should have bought one for me. I think I might tell my husband to put one in my stocking. But um, so again, it has the three different types of light. And again, it's rechargeable. But that is everything that I picked up for my kids Christmas stockings. I will be sharing more Christmas gift guide videos coming up tomorrow and a couple more days after that, I think. Um, so if you are interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see what else I have purchased for the holiday season. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And again, and as always, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I do really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me. You have a great day. Bye.